everyone welcome back to our channel today we can discuss about odoo 15 appraisal management appraisal management is a process that takes continuous monitoring and review of the performance of the employees so through this you can carry forward the activities very effectively and smoothly now let's check it out the features and functions of appraisal management In this window, we can view the employee details such as employee's name, department and the appraisal date. So we can apply appraisal functions on each employee by selecting them from the list. So here the profiles of the appraisal candidates can be viewed in the Canton list view, gun view, calendar view and also in the activity view. And also we can choose the options from here. So by choosing the option, we can see the employees belongs to the respective company, department and status. And also we can choose the customizable features like filters, group by and rate options. So if you want to create a new appraisal, just click on the icon. Before that, we can go to the configuration settings. Here we can see the feedback template section. The feedback templates are those which are sent to the employees to answer the questions related to the work. So in this section we can see two templates like employee feedback template and the manager feedback template. So here we can enter the questions that can be asked to the employees and the manager. And here in the appraisal section, we have the options to enable the appraisal plans. So it is to automatically generate the appraisal. So here we can set the appraisal for an employee on the basis of the number of months from the day of recruitment. So here we can set the intervals of appraisal by enabling the appraisal plans. And also we have the options to enable the 360 feedback it is asked to fill a survey to other employees. So it is a system where the manager and the employee write feedback about the performance. So here we can see the employee's appraisal form. So after providing the details, you can save the changes. Now let's check it out how to create a new appraisal. For that we can choose an employee from here and here we can see the manager department and the company is auto allocated and here we can set the appraisal date and under the appraisal tab here we can see the manager's feedback and it is there is an also options to visible the employee's feedback. So the assessment will show here once it is published. Likewise, uh, this skill tab will be activated when the appraisal is confirmed. And here in the private note tab, we can provide the private note. So the content of this note is not visible by the employee. So here we can uh, enter the private note. Here in the status bar, we can see the stages of appraisal like to confirm, confirmed and done. So if you want to confirm an employee for appraisal, so here we can choose the confirm icon. So here we can see the changes and here we can see the skills is activated. So here the tab include the details of the employees skill level progress justification so by analyzing the skill level and the progress justification we can understand the skill depth of the employees so here we have the options to add new skills and also have the remove option and here we can see the number of employees goals currently the employee has no goals and here we have the options to conduct the meetings. Mm -hmm. 
So once the appraisal is shifted to the confirm stage, you can ask the feedback. So while clicking on it, we will get a pop-up window. And in this window, we can provide the details such as survey template, recipient's name, and here we can provide the subject. And here we can enter the message. And here we have the options to attach the unnecessary things. And here we can provide the answer deadline. So after providing the details, you can send this. So once the procedures are done, you can change the stage into done. So here we can change uh, change the stage. So the appraisal can be reopened when the manager wishes. So if you want to reopen, just click on the icon. And here we can see the uh, stage change from done to the confirmed. So this is how we create an appraisal for an employee. Now let's move on to the goals. So by selecting the goals, we can view the list of goals along with the employees to whom it is assigned. And here we can see the deadline and the percentage of progress. So now let's create a new goal. So here we can provide the name of the goal. Here we can choose the employee name and here we can choose the manager and here we can provide the deadline uh, if it is needed and here we can set the progress so if it reaches the 100 it means the goals is done here we can provide the description for the goals so after providing all the details we can save this if you completed the goals you can click on mark as done Now let's move on to the evaluation scale. So after completing the appraisal procedures, you need to fill out the final rating option. So in the employee's profile, for this you can use the list of ratings displayed here. So here we can see the evaluation scales like need improvement, meet expectation, exceed expectation and strongly exceed expectation. So it is possible to create a new evaluation scale so here we can provide the evaluation scale type and it can be used for the final rating now let's move on to the surveys in order 15 appraisal we have the option to use various surveys to evaluate the employees of the company So here we can see a demo survey created before and here we can see the survey title and the responsible person for uh, who is con conducting the survey and here in the question tab we can see the questions like name, position, title, appraisal for period and here we can see the work plan, employee performance in key areas professional development and performance plan, employee comments, etc. And here we have the options to add questions. So here we can provide the question and from here we can choose the question type. So here we can choose date, date time, multiple choice, only one answer, matrix. Here so we can choose any question type. And here we can provide the answer, description and the options. In this description tab, we can see the description. So this survey allows you to give a feedback about the collaboration with an employee. So filling it helps us improving the appraisal process. So likewise, we can create any description. And here we can provide a end message. So this message will be displayed when the survey is completed. And here in the option tab, we can uh, choose the layout like one page with all questions, one page per section, one page per questions. Likewise, we can choose the progression mode, uh, survey title limit and 
we can enable the survey title limit and here we can choose the selection like all costumes and randomize per section and here we can set the scoring and here in the candidate section we can choose the access mode like anyone with the link and invited people only and here we can set the number of attempts item limit and here in the live section we can enable the reward quick answer and also we can provide a section code so here we can see the number of registered people for the survey and here we can see the answers so here you have the options to create live session test print and also to close the surveys so from here you can see the survey result from here itself So if you need to create a new survey, just click on the icon and here we can provide the further details. Now let's move on to the reporting appraisal analysis. So in this window, we can see the analytical and graphical report of the employee appraisal belongs to different department. Here we can see the departments and here we can see the window is in the gun view. It is also possible to view according to calendar view, graph view and also in the pivot view. So here we can choose the filters group by and the favorite options. And also we can view the appraisal analysis by day, week, month and year. And also we can view the previous days or previous months or the next days at, uh, appraisal analysis. So with this appraisal analysis report, you can easily analyze and take further actions required. So that's all about Odo 15 appraisal management. That's it. Thank you for watching.